I don't know what it's going to be like. But just in case, we got that, we got this, and we got this. Usually it's a good harvest. But if someone else has found the spot, then there may not be much to talk about. Okay, there's our first. Might be a little rattly here and there and everywhere. So how many we got so far? <laughs> I cannot get water in my thighs. I'm wearing them today. Because the moisture is cool, like cold, not like, oh, it's cool out here. I'm a little disappointed so far. That's the opposite of being appointed. I used to come down here and I'm pretty appointed because I find so many right off the bat. We gotta get through here. One thing about it, when golf balls are in season, they are, uh, there's not many bugs and stuff out, so that's kind of good. The off season gets kind of rough due to all the, uh, Spiders. I might should have waited. I might be here too early in the season because the bottom is completely covered in leaves, which makes the harvest a little more difficult. Actually, a whole lot of difficult. Look at that. All you can see is leaves. They don't start falling out of the trees usually till the fall and the weather starts cooling off, but you just gotta find the right time. Well, I'm up to six. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a tough season for the harvest. The water is like ice. The spiders are slow, but they're mad because it's so cold. See where all the leaves are in the middle is where everything washes right in a channel. And that's where the harvest is usually pretty good. So we're just gonna have to find an oddball stray. If I don't fall down. If I fall down, the video will end. Wow, you can't even see them up here anymore. They're usually all in the banks right here. Then we need a good flood. And then a little short drought right afterwards. Once I get up here to this big drainage pipe, where I think most of them come out, and there may be something. Well, I got so distracted picking up so many. How's that? I found a good spot. Look, they're still on the hills right here. Something's been digging right there. And uh, I found a spot on this bank where they're washing out. So if I don't dump them out, I've almost got a full bucket. And there's more. But I got to get, uh, make my way a little further. I don't know which way to go. Kind of a tough spot, but I'm near where it floods. And you can look, 
as you use your eyeballs. And look, they're still there. So the bucket is filling up slowly. I'm glad I can almost float them back. I filled the bucket up. And so now I gotta go into the bucket and then go to spot number two. It's a really neat spot too. I just don't know what it's gonna be like. I can see a few fi in here, huh? There's a bunch in here. There's feedless opals, a couple of pineapples. There's a lot. There's some guys that, uh, friends of mine who play the golf ball and they were saying uh, some of those things are worth like $5 a piece. And I thought, well, if I paid $5 for a golf ball, I would hope that I would be good enough not to knock it into a creek or into a ditch where it hits city runoff and ends up in my bucket. It's so deep right here. I mean, it ain't terribly deep, but it's some black water. And every now and then you catch a shade spot and there's a hole. That's where most of these come from, except for a few in the dirt. And they kind of, you got to kind of pick at them and get them out of the bank. It's like making a withdrawal. Before we go back for round number two, we need to, you know what? Nah, I'm taking the bucket. Almost a whole pillowcase. <laughs> okay, starting fresh. How many do you think that was? I think it was 100. I don't know. Let's go. Okay, here's the bank. It just produced and produced, but this ground is pretty fertile. So it's understandable that the golf ball will reproduce right here without a problem. Just like sweet potatoes. Question is, I'm trying to figure out how many to start with. I think I'll start with the first one, which we don't have yet. Uh, I see it already. I'm putting too much putting too much work on my uh, Kelly grippers, so we'll start with that one. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, that wasn't a golf ball. That was a mushroom. Oh well. Well, I chipped away all the way down the side. I don't know if somebody's already harvested or if I'm just late for the harvest. I don't see a single ball anywhere. Anywhere. So we will move to spot number three. This is strange here. Usually here. Maybe I'm too early in the season. Maybe it's due to the drought. Which is kind of over. Sometimes they uh, grow right here. Tough spot here due to a lot of methane, but I see one ball right there. So that's kind of a good start. But I can't hold the camera and get the balls at the same time. And no, I'm not going to get a chest mount. There's one. It's going to be too much work for just one or two golf balls, but you don't ever know until you start plowing.
So there's two. So you gotta ask yourself, how bad do you want a golf ball? I've been around the edges. Let's see one more. So we're on three. Yeah, it's getting hot. That is a feed least. PVO. So let's just walk and look for a minute. Yeah, walking and looking here is not going to work because of the foliage is at the ground and all the leaves are brown. I think we're done. It's getting a little later. Everybody's waking up. Even though I'm in the middle of now here, there's nobody right here. I got to get out. After I walked all these woods, I didn't find anything. I scraped this whole bank down. I got three. I know what you're wondering. So am I. But if they get in the bottom, it's clean on the bottom for a reason. It's because it's slick or either bedrock and everything is carried. The only thing that gets stuck in the bank is what gets stuck in the bank. Remember that. I don't think we missed any. I think we got them all. I stirred up the squirrels. I raked a bunch of leaves back right here. I know you can't see the bottom. I can't either. But I did pick up a couple of strays right here in this little circle. So there could be more. All we need is one more stray for the road, right? I picked up the other ones when I filled the bucket probably over an hour. But I didn't want to torture you because you've seen me pick up golf balls before. I don't know what it is. They just deserve a home. And then they deserve a baseball bat to see how far they will fly. I'll wait on that bucket to fill up and then I will uh, dump those golf balls in there. I think it's full. I'm trying to figure where to put you. All right, I'm gonna dump them in here. And y'all count them as I dump them. You ready? Hold on, I'm getting the old pillowcase prepped. Okay, get ready to count. Hang on, there's a couple more. Just dropped one on the ground. So, how many is that? I really like to clean. A little bit more. Ooh, that one's kind of fancy looking. Gotta love that color. I don't know where that Opal is. I think that's good enough. 
Ooh, there's an opal. It's enough water. Now we're gonna count them. Okay, we got rows of 13 up and down this way and 19 across. So that's 19 times 13, that's what, 240? I don't know, 240 something. And then one to grow on. So pretty cool, huh? I think 247, 248 golf balls. That ain't bad, huh? For one day's harvest. Thanks for watching my videos.